Hello and good morning everyone. So now today we will be moving forward towards our next uh, chapter of USMLE immunological section Kaplan microbiology. So let's move forward on the lymphocyte development and selection. So we have a study about the few, con few concepts of immunology. Now let's move forward and try to understand how this B cell and T cell has been developed, how this their surface marker comes, when it comes and when it's if the surface marker how we can track the surface marker to understand at which stage the cell was arrested or have the some immunological deficiency or develop some disorder so that is important so we have to understand how b and t cell has been developed and there when the surface marker comes or incorporated on them and what are the disease before the surface marker the proliferation or arrest of the cell development and what are after the surface marker the disease developed okay so moving forward we need to understand that what is the lymphocyte de development and selection we know there are two lymphocytes that is the b cell and t cell although natural killer cell is came from the lymphoid progenitor cell but it falls under the innate immunity which is responsible for tumor and virus infected cell so we are not talking about that we'll talk about the b cell and t cell so talking about this antigen recognition molecule of the lymphocyte each of the lymphoid lineage is clinically identified by the characteristic surface molecule that it poses the surface naive b lymphocyte it in its maturity ready to respond from exposed to isotypes of antibody or immunoglobin called igm and igd within the surface marker so what they are what we are we have to understand that any b cell have surface marker and that is immunoglobin m and immunoglobin d you have to understand that this both this is this suppose this is your sorry suppose uh, this is your b cell and this is your t cell now you can understand you can see the b cell have this surface marker immunoglobin m and immunoglobin d this is your immunoglobin that is incorporated as they are the receptor of this b cell that you have to understand and this b cell are, this receptor are immunoglobin m and immunoglobin d and that has been incorporated on the surface of the b lymphocyte similarly there is a, there is another uh, t cell that is another lymphocyte and which have this t cell receptor also called the this is one of the receptor of this t cell so the T cell has T cell receptor also called TCR okay and that is the you can see the similar uh, this alpha chain and beta chain whereas this B cell has two different receptor that is immunoglobin M and immunoglobin D and we know when this B cell will convert it into the plasma cell after a lot, lot of activation by actually the cytokines that is released by T cell which activate the B cell and convert into the plasma cell and then antibody is released and the first antibody that is released is incorporated on their surface only that is immunoglobin M. So we have to understand immunoglobin D we don't know the features of the immunoglobin D mainly but immunoglobin M those are the first antibody that is released from the activated B cell that is plasma cell. So the B cell surface receptor is immunoglobin M and immunoglobin D whereas T cell the surface receptor is TCR outside T cell receptor we can say this B cell receptor as BCR as well so BC, B cell receptor but you have to understand that B cell receptor is immunoglobin M and immunoglobin D so naive B cell two isotypes immunoglobin called IgM or IgD on the surface T mature the mature naive T cell express a single genetic material molecule called the T cell receptor on its surface so naive means when they have not exposed to any antigen so before that if they have not on, encountered any antigen then they, before that is called knife that has so neutral they, they can say the initial one which, had, which haven't uh, come in contact with the uh, antigen that is called knife both of this type of antigen receptor are encoded within the immunoglobin superfamily of gene and expressed literally in millions of variation of different lymphocyte as a result of complex and random arrangement of the cell dna so this this receptor this has the different combinations that you have to understand and which we can we can, which we can be in the studies suppose if you can see this uh, this is your antibody y shaped antibody that has this this is fc portion that is the fragment crystalline portion and that is the fab that is the fragment anti gen binding site where we this is known as the IDO types IDO types is the place where antigen can come and attach this IDO types can be a millions of combination and that is due to the BDG com com combination but you have to understand this is the hinge region this is the light chain this is the above is the this is the above is the 
this is the light chain you can see this is the light chain this is the below one is the heavy chain this is the hinge region this is your determine the isotype there's a frag crystal available and this is your fragment anti gen binding so this fragment anti gen binding is actually important because this can be a various combination you know in the world there are millions of antigen even one bacteria has a million component of this uh, uh, epitopes the place where suppose this is the bacteria so this is the bacteria this has the different antigen so n gene e gene okay this has the different antigen So they, they can have different antigen. So this antigen can bind in this IU type that is determines IU type where this can fit over there and then this get activated and then there are a lot of procedure like they can form opsonization, they can even activate complementation or even can cause neutralization. So we are talking about this antigen, there are millions of antigen and for that million of antigen there are millions of this recombination takes place in our body to this antigen binding site of your antibody. So the place in the bacteria this is called epitope. A place where this antibody can bind is epitope. E P I E P top and the place where this epitope get binds into the antibody site is fragment antigen binding. This is the whole portion, but this is called ideotypes. And these ideotypes can be millions and millions. We, sh we should have these millions and millions because we know there are the millions of this epitope in the environment. We know there are millions of this bacteria, virus, fungi, and one bacteria also there can be different epi epitope. So there need to be a different, there are millions and millions of combination of this ideotype so that they can bind to the unique epitope in similar way so our body our nature our body making engineering process should be designed in a such a way that this antibody that is present in our body has this capability to go under the different variation different rearrangement to develop that millions of different type of ideotypes where this bacterial or viral or fungal or any material antigen portion comes and bind where epitope comes and bind and then process the reaction like activation of this uh, process and there is the optionization or say complement activation or say you can even a neutralization and further immune reaction takes place so this whole thing has been come has been described over here about the uh, uh, how the BDJ recombination takes place. The another important thing is that we are since we are talking about this B cell and T cell, then B cell and T cell, you can see this T cell receptor. So T cell in the T cell, you can this is the T cell receptor, TCR we can say, and where we can find this surface molecular, this is the T cell receptor. And there is another thing that has to remember, this is CD3. I have already told previously also. T cell in our previous where we are recognized B cell and T cell. T cell, all T cell have this CD3 X, X, plus CD4 in case of CD4 cell plus this, this so, so CD3 and CD4 cell have both. If you are talking about the CD8, then this will be CD8 plus. So there will be CD3 in all T cell. If it is CD4, then will additional of CD4. If it is CD8, then there will be additional of CD8. Similarly, if we talk about this uh, uh, B cell, then in B cell you can see there are the this this is your surface marker where we have you can see this is hemoglobin M and hemoglobin D then there is CD 19 20 21 and there is this hemoglobin beta and alpha this is also incorporated over there that you have to understand so this is the surface marker which we are talking about and okay and now we can see this is the BDJ recomb recombination by which there are the different ideotypes this different ideotypes as is formed and since the different ideotypes will be formed they can actually bind to a different variety of this antigen outside epitope okay so this is the process which this is this is done by the rna splicing so that is the one point that we have to understand and these are the rearrangement done in the random fashion by rna splicing and that is actually a condition for the formation of your different type of ideotypes as well as isotypes that is important we can discuss later because we are discussing what the b-shell antigen then let's focus on more than that so we didn't have come to the vdg recombination okay and if there is a problem in vdg recombination then there will be the omen syndrome and skin that is due to the this genetic defect and the molecular defect we'll talk about this vaccine also but 
initially we need to understand the selection of T and B lymphocyte. How this T and B lymphocyte are developed inside the we know the primary lymphoid organ or immune cells are the bone marrow and thymus. In the bone marrow both this T and B cell we have talked about this a common progenitor cell from where this T and B cell as well as natural killer cell form. This T and B cell are the part of your adaptive immunity. They the bone marrow in the bone marrow B cell mature and comes out in the periphery. In the bone in about T cell, they form in the bone marrow, goes to the thymus where they get mature and then come to the periphery. And in this way, the B cell and T cell development occur. Let's move forward. So as a lymphoid progenitor develop in the bone marrow, they make random arrangement of the DNA germline to produce unique aerotypes of antigen recognition molecule that they will give, give throughout the life. The primary bone marrow therefore is considered as primary lymphoid organ in human because support and encourages the early development changes. B lymphocytes com complete their entire formative period in the bone marrow and can be identified the process by immunoglobin chain they produce. So talking about the B lymphocyte development in the SS. The rearrangement of the gene segment and subsequent production of immunoglobin chain derive B cell development. So we can see there is the uh, there is the actually you need to understand uh, this picture. So before understanding this picture, you have to understand what are the things that been change takes place during the B cell development in the bone marrow. So in bone marrow, what happened? Because the gene segment rearrangement occur randomly and in absence of stu stimulation of foreign antigen, it stands to reason that many of the ideotypes of the receptor produced could have a binding attraction or affinity for normal body constituent. So these should be trained in such a way that they will not recognize your own self antigen, either B cell or T cell. We know the B cell is also a antigen presenting cell. The antigen presenting cell inside your body, that APC, 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 that antigen presenting cell are B cell, then macrophage, and that is the dendritic cell. Dendritic cell. So these are the cells that is actually present inside the body that is antigen presenting cell. So we, this should this receptor should not be recognized in your own cell. If they are able to recognize your own cell, then you will develop the autoimmune disease. So that should be during the development, during the development of your bone marrow, say B cell or T cell, they should be trained in such a way that they will not be recognize the self antigen, your own body antigen. So that is very much important. So what happened? They check for, uh, for self antigen if they bind to the self antigen these cells are allowed to develop further could not develop cell free active because harm to the host therefore one key role of the bone marrow is to integrate and integrate cells is to remove such potential harmful products cells those are have greater, greater affinity for cellular molecules either deleted in the bone marrow colonization or inactivity in the periphery so i was talking about that this T cell, the, the, sorry, the B cell, they should not be recognizing your own self antigen. For that, they check for with the giving the self antigen, exposure to the self antigen. If they bind that self antigen, they delete the self that that B cell immediately. So that is called clonal deletion. So cells whose isotopes has greater affinity for normal cellular molecules, either deleted in the bone marrow, that is called clonal deletion or if they are found in the periphery they are released in the periphery and do the clonal in, they are inactivated in the periphery called clonal energy not energy at energy energy means inactivation of that cell so comparing into the t cell b cell is less strict they actually allow some of the cell into the periphery and allow to bind with the self antigen if they found they are binding the self antigen they will inactivate that they becomes clonal energy in case of t cell actually no nothing is allowed into the periphery to check that they can bind or not they do everything in the thymus itself but in the case of the b cell in the bone marrow they actually first allows and if they found they have binding strongly that delete that cell that is called clonal deletion if some of them there is exposed in the periphery as well and if they found binding to the self antigen they inactivate those cell and that is called clonal energy so this two term you have to understand clonal deletion is actually deletion of the cell because they have bind to your self antigen with the higher affinity and if in the periphery the, if some of the cell that has released in the periphery is binding your own self antigen then they are inactivated and that is called clonal energy so that is important actually so energy B cell express high level of hemoglobin D on the surface rendering them inactive. The elimination of the self reactive cell in the bone marrow is intended to minimize the number of cell reactive B cell lymphocyte released to the periphery. Only those cells are selective 
responsive tolerant to self and desire allowed to leave the bone marrow so the problem is those who are tolerant who are not uh, reacting to the self and desire are actually not only allowed to leave the bone marrow this is the development this is a very important picture to understand uh, this you have to see this is your lymphoid cell lymphoid progenitor cell that has been come and develop into the pro b cell that has been again converted into the pre b cell that has converted into the mature b cell then come into the mature b cell which has released into the periphery and then activated by antigen and converted into the plasma cell and form the an immunoglobin is released if they after they also form if it is peptide in nature they will form this memory cell and once memory cell is formed now if there is a second exposure if there is second exposure they don't need to get activated from the t cell or presented through t cell once the second exposure they come they again activated into the plasma cell and form antibody and clear that infection so coming to the development actually coming to the development point of view you have to understand that these all cells like markers are actually important see lymphoid stem cell there is no marker at all when they become so this progenitor there is heavy chain formation or is actually taking place but still there is no marker when they converted into the heavy chain uh, rearrangement has finished and light chain is uh, started this is they develop the cytoplasmic mu so cytoplasmic mu means this this heavy chain rearrangement has completed and they are waiting for the light chain rearrangement so if the marker is cytoplasmic mu positive is there then you have to understand this cell is under the pre b cell where the development is going on and now the habit chain arrangement has been finished and they have gone into the light chain arrangement then when they comes to the immature cell there will be the surface first so immunoglobin the surface marker will be the igm igm will come and attach to the surface marker and when they goes into the mature cell then the surface marker immunoglobin m and immunoglobin d will also get incorporated so every step so like lymphoid stem cell no marker progenitor only there is no marker but heavy chain rearrangement is occurring free b cell there is a mu cytoplasmic so to identify the, the cell has been in pre cell arrested or there is a more proliferation or say the patient is developing leukemia or lymphoma you need to understand what is the surface marker mentioned over there they can give you the cell is in the pre cell uh, b cell what is the surface marker or they will say you there is a cytoplasmic mu is there which in which stage the cell cycle has been arrested or there is proliferation has occurring then if there is Im immunoglobin mu then you have, you have to tell this is the pre b cell where the cell cycle has been arrested or if they are saying only surface igm is there then you have to understand this is a mature b cell where the surface uh, this cell cycle has been arrested or if they are telling okay both igm and igd was found then you have to understand this is the mature b cell again in activated form there will be no marker so that you have to understand this mature is both is present igm and igd immature only igm will present in the pre b cell there will only cytoplasmic mu will present on the big so, talking about the surface markers in 19 20 21 40 will present from the, this pro b cell msc class 2 will be present from this uh, pro b cell uh, this because this is the antigen presenting cell and this is the this both will this occur from the pro to uh, me mature cell and this this uh, tdt will occur only in the say pro and pre cell so this is the way to understand how the b cell has been developed b cell development is from lymphoid to they convert into pro b cell that the progenitor then habit chain arrangement occur then come into the pre where 